Sir Handel had had a bad day. The old coaches, Agnes, Ruth, Lucy, Jemima and Beatrice had been awkward. They had made him slip to a standstill twice. He was furious. Those cattle trucks, they should be scrapped, he fumed. Scarloe was shocked. I won't have it, he protested. These old dears need kindness, not bad names. Exactly so, agreed Rines. He winked at Scarloe. You should be thankful, Sir Handel, that this is not a mountain railway. A mountain railway? What's that? A railway which climbs a mountain, of course. But it can't, said Sir Handel. The engine's wheel would slip. But it can, said Renius firmly. We have heard of one quite near from here. It can. It can. A noisy argument had just started as Donald shunted a flatbed truck into a siding nearby. On the truck was a queer looking engine. He had six small wheels, a stove pipe, pipe chimney, his boiler was tilted downwards and his cylinders were back to front. We whispered Donald hoarsely. Don't know where this we engine up. It's tired, he is. He's away back from England from being mended. Yeah, Ken, how is he? We understand that, but who is he? His name is Goldie. After the mountain which his railway climbs. Well, did you ever explain, explain the other two engines? They looked at Sir Handel and, shock, and chuckled. I don't believe it, said Sir Handel. Ah, oh, ye yeah, ask him yourself. Maybe you learned it, it's true, I'm telling you. Donald puffed away. Offended. Coldy woke up to find the other engines gazing at him. Where am I? he asked. They told him, That's good. Then I'm close to home now. Do you really climb mountains? asked Scarloe. Yes. I have done it for years, in fact. You must be clever then. We could never do that. Our wheels would slip. It has nothing to do with being clever, laughed Scaldi. I was just drawn that way. Like what? With pinion wheels on my driving axles. They have little teeth, you see, which fit into a rack rail. I can't slip, however steep the line may be. That, said Renius, must help you going up. But 
if your line is so steep, aren't you frightened going down? Why would I be that? We have good brakes. What about the coaches? went on Renius. They can sometimes be silly and try to push us downhill. Some <laughs> engines find it hard to stop them. Sir Handel blushed and looked at his buffers. Our coaches, answered Colby, are never silly in that way. They know such tricks are dangerous. I've never been in that sort of accident. But, he went on thoughtfully, I was frightened once. Very frightened indeed. Please tell us, said all the other engines. One day, long ago, before a line had opened, our driver made all five of us engines stand ready outside our shed. The inspector's coming, they said. We don't know which of you he'll choose. He shows me and climbed into my cab and made me push two coaches up the summit. So far, so good, he said. Now we'll test your brakes. So he went and stood on the sheep steepest part of the line. Down it fell with a nasty curve below. Brakes off, driver, let him roll. Ooh, gasped the little engine in horror. The coaches nudged me. We gathered speed downhill. I was terrified. My driver's hand stole to the brakes. Hands off, ordered the inspector. Then I remembered that I had automatic brakes. I could put them on myself. Perhaps the inspector wanted to see if I could. They worked beautifully. Well done, Coldy, said the inspector. You'll do. I smiled. Of course, I felt very shaky. My driver and my fireman mopped their faces. They were nervous too. I'm never nervous now, finished Coldy. Why should I be? There's no need. <laughs>